And we're not gonna really look for orbs yet. I'm gonna grab this one. Hey, get out of here. All right. That's our 14th. Well, no, it's not our 14th. But in 32 orb runs, that is the first orb. Never mind. That's the 14th time we've grabbed the Mountain Altar orb in a 32 orb run in this run. And why is the game all... Come on, stupid. But that's just... Oh. Okay. Check, check, check. Alright. Looks weird for me. Does everything look alright? Except for the mountain? <laughs> anyway. We're not gonna just... Dig all over the place. I'll, I mean, obviously... I just wanna... We gotta look for Lanier Arc. That's the one spell I need. Oh, hey, look at you, buddy. Look at you up here. You're in the wrong spot. That's so weird. Yeah, it was, like, just really stuttery for me. Man... Another extra life. Spells, please. Oh, look at the crystal just... chilling. Let's give this crystal something else to do. Yeah. But the real challenge is moving through these tight corridors with faster movement and stuff. Ugh. Ground. Hey, 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 hey. All right, fine. Stay up there. All right, now. Come with me. Why am I doing this? Just to do it. Hey. Hey. It's not gonna work. Come on, take it. Take it, gods. There we go. That is not what you seek. Oh, but it is. Now we have a truly an entire family of worms. This is Carl's entire lineage. Let's go. Be free, worm worm friends. The spice is life. What are those little pink flying guys from Coal Mines called? Bats? I forgot what they're... I don't remember the actual names for anything. Like, whenever somebody refers to, like, most of the enemies in this game with their Finnish name, I don't know what they're talking about. I give everything my own pet name, pretty much. It's just one of the ways I make games my own, you know? You gotta make it your own, especially if you're doing, making content of it. How much HP do I have? All right. We're super close to breaking our HP. Maybe even the next health increase perk. I wish that I could have a ground, though. <laughs> Man. It'd be so much easier to find spells. <clears throat> Is that a mimic? Nope. It was just gold. 
We should probably just look in the, uh, like, overgrown caverns. Although, I want to... Let's just look for all the perks first. Go all the way down to the bottom. Wouldn't it be funny, though? Yeah, see, we can't... Can't increase our HP from those anymore. But it would be funny if we picked up a normal heart, and that's what caused us to, uh... Caused our HP to break. Man, why are they all... Hey, Entropy, what's going on? How you doing today? Yeah. He made, like... TLC made it sound very, very attractive. The idea of moving to the UK to become a truck driver for even just a few months. A few months of that, and then go and buy a castle in Wales. Then I can have, like, a bunch of studio. Then I can finally have a studio that's not in my bedroom. <laughs> My, uh, imagine having an entire room that was dedicated just to work and not like a bed and we're like getting out of bed and being like oh I'm in the office already <laughs> uh, that's why like I wake up and immediately start working Yeah, I don't know how it is getting a visa for there. I'm sure it's not that bad. Especially right... Well, maybe right now. I don't know. Castle. Alright, so we're looking for Linear Arc. And what Linear Arc looks like... I was hoping to say, like that, because it would be on that one, but it wasn't. Let's go like this. Let's do this real quick. We're looking, if, for those of you who don't know, Linear Arc looks like Noita Linear Arc. There it is. We're looking for this. That's all we need. And then we can make a wand that's going to be like... Stupid silly. It's gonna be great. Hmm. Anyway. Well, once we find Linear Arc, then I have to go down to hell. Eh? Oh, what the heck, man? That was my wand. Entropy. Thank you very, very much, Entropy. I appreciate you. Y-E-S! Yes, yes, yes! Thanks for the five gift subs. To... Majeta, or Magetta, Puzzlebun, Tannerlin, Saulmaster. What do I need that for? For something crazy. And Stigmund. Thank you very much, Entropy. You'll see. I'm hoping to, like, I don't want to talk about it until I get it. I'm, but hopefully we get it pretty quickly. I was looking for the, uh, the eye room. That's why I started digging over to the left over here, but... Where is the eye room? One may never know. Mercario playing Quake Champions. Nice. There you go. Now you can glaring K at me. That glaring K emote is like an emote that I want to try to make 
viral. <laughs> it needs to happen. But Fury, why is it called Glaring K? That doesn't make any sense. Because it's like, you know, Kappa and everything. And it was because I, it was a typo. I typoed writing glaring for some reason. I don't remember when. And also, Chili79, thanks for the tier one sub. Thanks for the two months. Appreciate you. Because I, writing in Discord, I used to type a lot. I used to be way more active in Discord. <laughs> and I used to typo all the time because I play games with my keyboard shifted this way. It's backwards for you guys. Like, I shift it to the side because it's just the way it's comfortable for me to hit the WAST keys. So, like, the WAST is back further. And so typing is more difficult because of that. And I have this mic in front of my keyboard, kind of. I mean, it's above it, but it blocks, like, blocks the escape key and some other things. But I like my mic mounted on this side and not the other side. Where the hell's the eye room, man? Whatever. Let's just look in here. We don't need no stinking eye room. That's right. I'm gonna blow up your stupid body. You got your coffee? Um, not really. I have water. I want more coffee, but I think I've had... No, I think I've only had two cups. I need more. More coffee. More linear shot, please. Uh, 23. Okay, let's go down the rest of the levels first. Nice face, thank you. I'm glad you like my face. <laughs> Man, I'm just hissing to the microphone. Gag Lake. Nice, hey! Bork, thanks, common dog. Oh, dude, the hype train. <laughs> thanks, common dog, for the two months. Appreciate you. If any of you see Lanier Arc and I don't see it, be sure to yell at me with the fury of a thousand suns. Yell at me like you've never yelled at anybody before. If you see a Lanier Arc. Or a Spark Bolt. Why you gotta do this to me, game? Now you're gonna rub it in my face and give me another one of these? Get out of here. Lanier, yes, I am. What the hell, dude? Meme Lord? Hey! Damn. Meme Lord, thank you very much for the three gifted subs. The 20 total. Precise NL, Nizrafi, and Morda Mordarnis. Thank you. I am pronouncing it linear. Thank you very much. Please don't correct pronunciation. <laughs> linear. Let's go get the linear arc. It's linear. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't choke you. It's okay. The line air? Oh, okay. I gotta get the line air arc. I need to find some line air.
linearity. That was a tooth. It was shaped very linearly. Suck. Okay. Why not just go to the hell shop and get one there? Does it spawn down there? I've never seen it down there. Might. Might. How much room do I have? Hang on. Zero room. Um. Bow, 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 wow, 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 wow. Uh, matter eater goes here. This. I can use that yet. Hey, Dingus. Ah, uh, Fury, it's pronounced Dangus. <laughs> oh boy. Wait a minute, what am I doing? So, boom, 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 bazunga, baboomba. Maroomba. Snoozda. Woozda. Hoozda. Gruzda moozda. Okay. Perfection. Just one. One line air. <laughs> Nuggets. I need one line air arc. Language. Hey. Choo choo high fives. Look at that. We got that. Thanks, guys. Hey, Ethos. How you doing, man? Hinga dinga durgan. <laughs> this game needs a park. I thought it. I thought it said park at first. Yeah, this game needs... I, would, I was hoping that they would buff the um, Bombs Materialized perk because it's kind of like... It would be nice to get Bombs Materialized and then it increases the amount of items you can carry. Spells, we have plenty of room. Like, you just gotta... I mean, look at this. That's a lot of room. That really is for spells. Items, though. Because I like using items. There's a lot of, a lot of times where you gotta... Just forego using something you really want to use because you can't carry all this stuff. Spells, we got plenty of room. I like having to do some inventory management. Blazinga Boombaganda Buddha. Losing it. Although, lo saying I'm losing it. When I've already lost it. A long time ago. Way before I started making quack. content. Quack, quack. Yeah. Quacking up. <sighs> liner. We must find Liner Arc. Next one you check after this message, we'll have one.
You're banned. <laughs> Perma banned. <laughs> Ban hammer ready. Nice. That's probably gonna break, but it probably just broke. Nope. Stop it. That's what I'm saying. gonna dig down uh, around here maybe you say check coal mines I say check in here all right see you later Nico Chris have a good one I watched the- and hey, internal bleeding, by the way. How you doing? I watched the original six Star Wars films lately, and the usage of Wilhelm in those films is golden. Yeah. I love- I mean, some- Yeah, I mean, what was the first- I mean, I know it's from a movie. It's from a Western movie. But what was the first, I think, was it Star Wars was the first movie? The original Star Wars was the first one to use it? It's from a Western. I don't know why it became a thing. It was like a stock sound, I guess, and then it just became a meme. I don't remember. Distant Drums in 1951? Okay. Nice. It's a good scream. It's a really good sound effect. And the reason why it sounds the way it does is like partly, you know, it's just audio equipment of the, of the time. And the All right, so that orb, might as well mark that off. That is East, or an East World, Frozen Vault. All right. Please. Oh, hey. Oh. Yeah, we gotta try that, too. Gotta eat some fungus. And then turn air into chaotic poly. <laughs> Imagine if you could shift air. That would be crazy. Where's this... Oh, no, that's items. Following the wrong color. Green. I'm guessing I find Linear Arc the most in either Hisi Base and the Flying Alive Wands in the Hidden Wizard's Den biome in Temple of the Art Floor. Probably doesn't help much, but I'd say that's the... yeah. I don't remember where I see it more often. I mean, this is a good place to check. In here. Ah, oh, fungus. This is the everything run, yes. Welcome. How you doing? Right now we're looking for one single spell. Steam. Oh, and fungus. Let's eat some fungus and hopefully not destroy this run. Oh boy. We're almost there. Point of no return. Okay. Oh, look at all that fungus now. Yeah! Steam. Speaking of steam, hell yeah. 
Goodbye. Oh, I should have kept it. But there's another one right here. Oh, it's... I think I broke it. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, now we have... N watch. Now that's going to polymorph us. I hope not. Imagine if Steam polymorphed us. Because it... Uh, it better not do anything stupid. Because... That wasn't real chaotic poly. That was blood. But it wasn't polymorphing us. But I just wanted to try to get rid of it just in case. I guess... But yeah, it was acting really weird. And shifting the same thing repeatedly makes things strange. So hopefully we didn't just give it the ability to murder our faces. Alright, might as well get this one too. Uh, where are we? Oh, this is the left... Left side orb? Okay. Damn. Crazy! Hannah! Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Welcome. Appreciate ya. Um, this is not the everything run. This is the real everything run. Yeah, the reason why I called it the real everything run is because my first attempt resulted in tragedy. I killed myself in a really dumb way early on. In, well, not super early on, but early enough on that it was embarrassing. <laughs> it's like, man, why did I do that? All right. Well, smoke. We turned... I'm just hoping steam is just steam and it doesn't do anything bad. Anyway. So we got rid of all traces of Polly now. I guess we're gonna try... If I get a... a flask of fungus blood... We're going to try changing our shield, too. But let me just focus on... Getting the one... Our spell. And also, I should check the perks as well. Because we might be able to break our HP, too. That's, like, also on the agenda today. We're looking for linear arc. <laughs> That's true, I do have gas fire, but it's just weird with fungal shifts. Things get all strange and timey-wimey. And they have nothing to do with time. That's how weird it gets. Man, seeing a million piercing shots. One single spell is what I need. Hey, you picked up my wand. Shnuga. Booga. All right. Let's go all the way up first. Oh yeah, we're not even... We're in the chasm. Thank you, internal bleeding. I need all the help I can get. Ah. Sorry, Vex. I don't have the wands command because it requires a mod. But here are my wands. I do modless runs because of secrets that are disabled if you use mods. So you almost never see me with the wands command. Anyway. I guess I can keep it on until we get all the way to the top. 
I would never want to see Poly Immunity added as a perk. I would be extremely upset if they added that as a perk. Unless... Unless they added it as an optional secret perk that you obtain by defeating an extremely difficult boss. But I would be really upset if they added a Poly Immunity perk. <clears throat> Giant sheep boss. I want an alchemy boss that's like a puzzle to solve that is weak. Oh, hey, thanks for loading in. Weak to certain materials at certain times, and you got to figure out, like, lore-based stuff. They can do a crazy amount of things with this game in that way. You know, the powder physics and everything. I want a powder physics boss, or just like a like alchemy reactions. The game has a million, or not a million, but it has all these reactions throughout it. What if you had to solve a boss fight, or you couldn't damage it until you made it first vulnerable by performing alchemy or such? But yeah, I would never want poly immunity perk. I like having to be afraid of something. hair, maybe, or I'm going blind. Um, maybe it's an eyelash. I like having to be afraid of something even in, in, an, in a god run, or having to use Iron Stomach in order to give myself, or like just to use game mechanics instead of just picking a perk that instantly gets rid of it, you know? They have it as a external tool. All right. If it doesn't involve any mod, then cool. But yeah, nobody tells me these things until now. I have no idea about any of that stuff. I exist in a vacuum. An island. Hey, physics bro. Can I, can I sacrifice you to the mountain altar? There. Fritz. <clears throat> That's cool. Yeah, eventually. See, like, right now, I like not using any mods, for the most part. I think I got it. It was like some buzz. Buzz. It was on my hand. So, okay. Did I check this? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I like not using mods. Unless I'm doing a specific, just modded run using a bunch of mods, probably. Which I plan to do soon. But there's still a million things I'm working on videos for that are vanilla. So I have to play vanilla most of the time. And, I mean, I'm still actively trying to... I'm working on a lot of things. I don't talk about them a lot, but... I'm working on a lot of things to do with the eyes and the cauldron. So, that's a, the majority of the time that I exist in this game world. Are experimenting with the eyes and cauldron. And other such things. No, we're looking for Linear Arc. We need one spell and then we can make it. Blood money. Is that a great? No. I thought that was a great treasure chest. Go away. <laughs> Nuggets. <clears throat> they have an HP mimic. Oh. <laughs> they're, 
there is one. Um, but... Yeah, it's very rare. Most people are never going to see it. Naturally. There's a... Somebody found it. There was... There's a... At least one, maybe two... Uh... Seeds. Yes. That have a starting chest that drops it. So, like, you spawn and then immediately there's a heart mimic. Good stuff. Yeah, it's the supernova. Um, it deletes all the holy mountains and a lot of the other parts of the world. All right, let's. I don't know. Oh boy, I guess let's look around here. We gotta kill these wands. My neck has been, like, seriously messed up for the last, like, month. Crunchy. Ugh. I need a massage. Man. Let me, uh, log off, please. Thank you very much. Ow. That hurt. Infestation. I want to make a really nice wand with that spell again. It's been a while. What about the eye room? I was trying to find it way earlier, but then... Wait. Whiskey transformed. Oh yeah, that's one of the polys. We need a flask of this fungus transformed. Fungus blood. Hey, stop it. And we could try to change our shield again. Does it stay crunchy even in milk? I wish it didn't. When I first I read the bottom line first, try putting your neck in milk, and I was like, "That's what? I never heard of that before. Does that work?" Oh, <laughs> uh, whoops! That may have been what I was looking for. Anyway. Yeah, it's purely cosmetic. That would be crazy if, uh... If it wasn't. If you had a lava shield and just moving damaged things. Set things on fire. Or what else? What would be the best shield then? Guiding powder shield. That would be crazy. It's a... <clears throat> Oops. Man. Lime blue. Lime bow.
Hey. Come on, I'm looking at the stupid thing. Okay. My hair is lime blue. Interesting. What planet do you live on? <laughs> I want to like a bright blue apple. Wouldn't that be cool? I love apples. I want a blue apple. If a if a fruit or if different fruits could be different colors, what color would you want them? I think blue apple. What about purple? What would be a good purple fruit? Hang on, I gotta like crack my neck off or break it. Red raspberry, red blueberries. Oh yeah. How about yellow oranges? No, they're already, whatever. <laughs> How about orange oranges? Just to mess with me. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're already... We're all the way out there. Okay. Grapefruit soda? Never had it. What if we just see one, a linear arc, just like laying on the ground? Please. Do it. Also, where the hell is the eye room? Nerds Half-Life, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Squirt? I've heard of Squirt, I think, maybe. Is that a grapefruit soda? Because I don't drink soda anymore. Like, very, very rarely I'll have like a Coke or something. I never liked any other kind of soda, only Coke when I was a kid, but now, like, I don't have a sweet tooth anymore, really. So soda is just, like, like, kills me with how sweet it is. I'm like, oh, God. But every now and then, I like, I just like the way cola tastes, you know? Also, I need, like, an eye room radar. How you doing, nerds? Half life. All right, let's. I'm not looking for it anymore. The eye room. We're still looking for liner arc. <laughs> Aha. Big red. I've heard of big red. Isn't that a gum though? It's a gum here. I think maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. I love lime. I like actual limes. Like, lemons, not really, but limes. I can actually, like, when I worked in a bar, when I worked in bars, would cut the fruit and stuff, and, like, whenever I would cut limes, I just eat limes. I love the way limes taste. Just, like, melt my enamel off my mouth, my teeth. It's like, 
love them so much. I love lime. Lemon, me. Hey, don't do that. East Pyramid. We're not really looking for the orbs, but I'll pick some up, I guess. If we find them, you know. Oops. Dun, dun, dun. Cheer wine. I don't know if I've had cheer wine. But, like, spiced wine, is that what cheer wine is, or no? Is that, like, totally a different thing? Oh, no, it's a soda? Okay. I've never heard of cheer wine. I mean, I live in Florida. Can't get more south than this, but it's not really the south here. I mean, it's south. It's geographically south, but it's less of a southern place. It's like a... Florida is like just its weird own little country that should be like separated from everything else and like like put out to sea with convicts on it. <laughs> After I move. Just... Was that a poly shot? Getting feisty with me over there? You take it out on your friend here. You fungal shifted snow into pea soup. Hell yeah. That's awesome. See, those are the types of uh, shifts that I really like. I want more of that. I would do an entire, like, pea soup run. Give me interesting shifts. Please. Please do. Gold flask, first shift with snow to flask. Nice. Oh, hello. Yeah, so Lanier Arc can't be in hell, right? The workshops? Or can it? Are these the same wands? Nope. We. I need to check the uh, eye room if I could find it. Actually, let me check a little bit. Yeah. Let's look around in here a little bit, maybe. <clears throat> I'm getting... I don't know. I'm, I'm having, like, bad flashbacks of getting polyed. Let's not look in here. Actually, there's nothing in here anyway. Like, yeah, we're just going to be randomly teleporting around and all of a sudden, wow, look at you just melting away into individual pixels. See, that's what I would want. One of the things that is not in the game that would be really cool, a spell. Imagine a spell that was like a disintegration spell for enemies and it like tore them into little pieces. You know, I know like Giga Black Hole kind of does that sort of to, to objects. It doesn't really do it to enemies, but if it just like, yeah, turns, they would have to probably turn an enemy into a physics object and then rip up, rip it apart from there into individual pixels. That would probably be like pretty uh, performance heavy, but... Not really like the touch of spells, yeah. But I mean, they would keep their, you know, just behind the scenes what they would have to do is turn, like you hit this enemy with it, it looks exactly the same, but then you, you just starts getting ripped apart into individual pixels. 
Explosive projectile plus material to matter eater could do something like that. You gotta try that out. Where am I? I need to find the eye room. I just, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I really don't. It's too cool. be back. I guess it's kind of, it moves a little bit, it's still on that side. I just don't know, I don't remember exactly where it is or would be. Don't teleport me. Cut it out. What the hell is that? What are you doing? You want to fight? Ha ha. I win. I probably passed a bunch of them already in here or something. <laughs> Perk check. Oh, you want what? Perk check. Everything. <laughs> we have everything. I broke the perk reroll machine like 25 million hours ago. Um, yeah, we have like every perk stacked, all the good perks stacked a bunch of times. These are our perks. How many extra lives do we have? 48 extra lives and then we have 83 extra health, etc. 30 stainless armors, 23 greed, 23 criticals, 20 strong levitation. It's everything. How will you die? Poison, hopefully. When it's time for me to murder myself. But eventually we're, we're going to be... In immortal in this run. I'm going to kill myself only to get the ending stats screen after I back up my save. So I want the ending stats. But then after that, we're going to be immune to everything. Pretty much. Also, li Linear Arc is a spell that I tend to gloss over. So like I said, if you see it, yell at me. Because sometimes I might just pass it by. <clears throat> Liney R arc, yeah. It's just impossible to find that thing. I mean, we barely looked. This is, we haven't spent much time looking for it. I'm prepared to look for this spell. If it takes 50 hours to find one spell, I'm okay with that. This run is not anything that I care to just finish early or anything. Like, we're not gonna, the amount of things that I'm gonna be doing later in this run, if we're alive, Massive. All right. It's probably going to be a, an always cast. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. More vault. I want to get the broom wand, man.
<clears throat> That's steam. Hey. What is going on with you? I mean, I, I hope we find it sometime soon. But it is what it is. Hang on. Crack. I've had moonshine before. I don't even want to think about drinking anything like that anymore. Ugh. Blech. Yeah, like one that, like, dipping my finger in it, and it was like just drinking a tiny amount. I was wasted. It's like instant alcohol poisoning. And I've had, uh... Ugh. The worst... The worst night of drinking ever was I worked at a bar. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> worked at a concert venue called The Masquerade and uh, in Tampa, Florida. And... Uh, we had a Christmas party one year for ourselves in our own bar open bar completely open anything we wanted free so we took advantage of that and the wild turkey <laughs> we, I drank I don't even know it must have been like almost an entire bottle oh god I feel like I'm gonna throw up just talking about it just thinking about it I drank probably almost an entire bottle of wild turkey myself. And oh, my band played a show that night too for the the party. And I destroyed my drum set, smashed it to pieces, and set it on fire on stage. <laughs> And then passed out in the wreckage of it. And then my girlfriend at the time uh, laid down with me. And then we woke up the next day. Everyone had left and locked us in. We were locked in. It was freezing. And we curled up inside of a futon. Like, a, you know... Just a futon mattress over us, like, in the side room of this place where, where we played the show. And, uh, yeah, for, like, at least three days, for, for a while, my throat was just completely shredded. Even drinking a little bit of water just, like, burnt like crazy. It was so bad. I, ugh. And, yeah, that hangover that day, like, you don't do stuff like that. <laughs> It was bad. And of course I had like, you know, like cuts. I took a cinder block and smashed my drum set with a cinder block. So my hands were all cut up. My chest had a big scar on it for something. Probably like a piece of symbol or something flew up. Could have killed myself. Yeah, you know, I was known for being pretty wild at times and that's the type of environment it was, so, you know. There were definitely many moments throughout my life where I could have easily killed myself by accident, you know. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't just me. There were a bunch of us who were wild. The entire band, we basically just destroyed things. But, you know. It was fun. Rock and roll. And if you're ever wondering why... 
If you're ever wondering why when I'm streaming sometimes, they're like, man, wish like what's up with Fury? Like, why can't he see this? Or like, what the hell's why why is he making these weird noises or something? It's probably brain damage. <laughs> it's probably from that night. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Hey, what's up, Gwyn Bale? How you doing? Let's take a quick scenery break. Let's head down here. How you doing today, Gwyn Bale? So yeah, like I'm very happy that now, you know, I don't drink or anything anymore. The last time, when I was still drinking a little bit and doing content creation, I basically, as soon as I started con con uh, content creation, making videos seven years ago, I pretty much cut out all alcohol because, like, you know, I'd drink a little red wine or something, even just a glass. And then the next day, I'd have, like, a little bit of a hangover or something, and I just couldn't get things done. Too busy now for any of that. Oh, yeah. I guess I could use that, too. That's right. In fact, I probably saw it a bunch from there. We'll, we'll add that right now to this. Oh, yeah, I need to kill them with love and cookies. <clears throat> oh, man. So yeah, like, even though, like, when I was on vacation, I had a, a nice IPA. I love IPAs. I love really good beers. Like, Dogfish Head 120-minute IPA is, like, godly, but, yeah, I don't really drink ever. I just got too much to do now. Too busy. Too busy, need to work. Yeah. Too busy breaking Noita. Indeed. Where the hell am I? Are we just too close to this side or Am I already... no. Now, I haven't really explored hell too much in New Game Plus loops. I guess we could go up to the sky. Probably would have been easier. No. Why in the world is your health still written long and not 190k? Because it's not 190k. <laughs> no, indeed not. <laughs> We're gonna be doing that. As soon as I could... Ugh. Like, that's basically what I'm trying to do now, is just break my HP. If we find Linear Arc, can we find I'm not going to New Game Plus 21 until we find it. I hope. We better find it. I guess I'll summon a bunch of wands. Wait. Right now, we're down here, we're looking for just some divide by spells that I need. If I could find any spells at all. Alright. I need some spells. Do we need that? We need that. 
Oh, my sound effect is gone. We need to put this, before, everything before the trigger. All right, so all we need is the linear arc right there, and then we need the divide by 10. Get out of my way, stupid. Move your butt. We need two of these. <laughs> it's possible to not have a spell in a seed. I mean, the chances... It, some spells, they could be really hard to find, but we're going to be going into, like... We're in East 3 or something right now. We could go to as many... Not as many, but we could go to a lot of parallel worlds to look for it. You know? It's only a matter of time. Before we find it. My audio is all desynced in-game, so we should probably restart soon. No spells up here right now? Come on, man. Come on. Is there a side biome? I don't feel like looking. <laughs> Let's just look down here again a little bit. Just the very edge. Just one more. Yeah, we're already right here. I'm looking for a divide by four. Was that the, uh, because I know in New Game Plus, the order of the biomes kind of changes around. Yeah. There should be a side biome too, though. Maybe. Must have spells, please. Oh, hey, look at that. That's interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. Dust. <clears throat> yeah, it's just like a New Game Plus thing. But, see, there's no... I mean, who knows whether or not... There are some secrets that are only accessible in New Game Pluses. There was some... I can't really remember. I need to, like, dig through things again. But there was, like, mention of... Okay. A stone. A magical stone. This is it. Down in the underworld. So I think there's still something to find down here in hell someplace or maybe it, it was like a alchemy thing and it required some prerequisites I've only seen videos of this never played it okay let's uh we're about to crash yeah we're still going to the even invincible world right now we're in new game plus 20 we're not leaving New Game Plus 20 until I find Linear Arc. And then, whatever. <clears throat> Maybe doing a couple more fungal shifts, possibly. Trying to change our shield color. But, I don't think we'd find that spell down here. I've never seen it down here, at least. Never noticed it down here. Can I kill... Wait, hang on. I don't want to have to d rip apart wands in order to kill these guys. Yeah, I need exp 
an explosion, though. If I had an explosion of some kind, I guess this, but that's... Whatever. Anyway. Your break the reroll machine vid was so helpful for me. I did my first sun run because of it. Nice. Thanks for watching. I'm glad... Just one person finding one of my videos useful allows me to keep making them. And uh, I got a bunch that I'm working on. I've been streaming a lot and I'm trying to grow my Twitch channel because I need it to grow. I need to grow my Twitch channel, or else I have to stop streaming, I think, pretty much. <laughs> because uh, streaming takes a lot of time away from making videos, and making videos is my main thing. I just need to find the balance, but it's really difficult to, to stream and make really highly edited videos and upload all my streams. I don't want to upload full stream VODs. I like breaking them into episodes. It would be nice if I could, like, make a different thumbnail for each one, too. And, like, title the videos. But I don't have that much time, you know? I gotta choose my poison. Anyway. So... It's a struggle to try to find that balance between... Because, like, if I didn't stream at all, I would have had so many more videos out on the main channel recently. I'm working, like, there's there's at least one that I've been working on for, like, eight months now. <laughs> for Noita. I just still haven't finished it in, like, eight months. The first... There's going to be video footage in it from eight months ago. But it's fine. It still works. The first, first bits and pieces of footage for it were from that long ago, though. Ugh. You should see my recording drive. It's got like, brrr, like, hundreds of gigs of video footage that from videos that I've been working on for months, and most of them haven't been that long. But you know, I'm still working on a bunch of videos for this game at the same time. You know. Because that's just like, for this game, it's easier to jump in and record footage for multiple things at once, you know? So you don't have to, like, make another run or do this or whatever. You try to knock as much out during one time as possible. So, like, I'll jump in. I'm like, oh, I want to make a video about this. But I also have this other video footage, so I'll, like, restore that save back up from, like, a video I'm working on on something else. And then I'll be like, yeah, it should be good to, you know, I, I just try to use the same save and try to record bits and pieces of footage from multiple things at, at once, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be outdated. Um... We just have to be updated. I'm, it's not finished, so I can very easily just update it. They could do anything. And I think m all my videos would be okay, the ones I'm working on. Uh, all right. Back to business. I don't know why I'm even looking at those. Black.
Come on, man. Ah, just popped into my brain. You could record the game separately from the stream without chat and voice, and you could reuse some of that in your videos. I do sometimes. I totally do. I have two... I have two OBSs. So I can record, like, completely different stuff, like, just the footage. I, I re reuse footage where I can. Totally. I've got, like, an entire folder on my recording drive just for, like, B-roll footage. You know? Always cast Deer Koi. I need to do one of those. A run of just that. Just Deer Koi run. Oh, we found another orb? Maybe. Which orb is this? I think I already got this. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> it's funny, just run, stumbling across an orb that I'm not even looking for. Necromancy is fun. You gotta unlock it. Um, it's one of the unlocked ones from picking up an orb. It's it's not like the best at all. Some people hate it and just, like, think it's useless, but it's fun. It reanimates dead bodies, and they can use wands. So, you know, you could do a run where you give them really, really powerful wands. And you could have basically four of you running around, or a bunch of you, like an army of you running around, and just outfit, outfit them or equip them with... You know, really powerful stuff. Most corpses? I'm sure there's, you know, some that can't be. It's like a chunk. As long as there's a corpse left, I think it should be good. I think maybe the physics enemies can't be, though. I don't remember right now. It's not really... Yeah, it's just like a chunk of meat. They become like a new entity, pretty much, I think, right? It's not like the f whole body of something. Sometimes. Like, some of the smaller enemies, yeah. But it's just like this little chunk following you around. Little chunkus. Give me more health, at least, please. If you're not gonna give me... Alright, so who remembers... Do any of you know where the eye room is in New Game Plus? Because I don't remember at all right now. Nope. Oh yeah, we need one spell. Linear arc. That's it. 